Hi Pisces, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 9th, the 9th of November, 2024. But whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. This is a timeless reading. What does Pisces need to know? Poverty, first card of the reading here. Despair. There's someone that's not feeling well, could be feeling depressed, could be doing a lot for nothing, you know, working hard for nothing. And then you've got this mature man. He keeps coming out the last few days. Mature could be your age, could be older, someone that's a teacher, could be a traveler. This is someone that's wise. They're in their head. They could have lost their job. They may not have much money. There's something about them being depressed. You've got bad health on the back of the deck. So this could be you. I feel like this is someone else, Pisces, someone that's in your energy, a mature man, masculine energy, someone that I feel may not tell you everything that's going on in their life, someone that holds back from you, but I feel like this is someone that wants to come towards you. What does Pisces need to know? The Ace of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Temperance. The Ace of Pentacles, underneath the Ace of Swords. Wow. Ones. You could be seeing the number 111, 1111. The Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords. The Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All underneath each other. All the Aces. A new beginning you are walking into. The artist. And the tower. On the back of the deck, Pisces, you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the chariot. Someone wanting to come forwards, but there's something about letting go of control. The Ace of Swords to start the reading. What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about the Ace of Swords? The Ace of Pentacles. So as I said, you could be seeing 111, 11-11. There is this new start, this new energy. You've got the alchemist, which is the magician. The ace of cups and the four of wands and the two of cups on the back of the deck. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's this new start in your energy. Look at that. There's so many aces coming out. There's a new beginning. There's something that... You're trying to start, you're working on. Could be with another energy. You've got Virgo here, Gemini.
So there could be two people coming together and this could be with the four of wands, you've got more 1111. Um, this could be a twin flame, a soulmate. This is something new, okay? This person could be coming towards you with some type of truth or words, clarity, vision, starting some type of new cycle with them. With the alchemist coming out, this is someone that I feel you and them have all the tools and you're coming together to work on something that's going to lead to celebration. So whoever this energy is to you, this is a soulmate. You had the two of cups coming out on the back of the deck. So this could be something that's a business venture. You've also got the, you know, you've got the ace of pentacles, but you've also got the ace of cups. Okay, so whatever this is, is going to bring in stability, happiness, emotional fulfillment. But you're walking into a new beginning. What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this could be a reconciliation with someone. It doesn't actually have to be someone from your past. It could actually be a family member, you know, a loved one. These people are coming together to, to work together, to give emotionally to to a project. But I feel like this is something new and I feel like this is something that's going to be very rewarding. I feel like there's a lot of work being put into this situation by both of you, by both energies here. This could have something to do with work, but I feel like there's this planning and travel um, there's all this, there's this emotional travel to emotional movement forwards towards this reward or this wish fulfillment. But I feel like you're both putting in the work in the situation for this to, to be fulfilling. What is temperance here for Pisces? The Eight of Cups. So temperance, Sagittarius energy. You've got the Eight of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. So you could have walked away from something. You've closed out a cycle and you're starting something new here, Pisces. You're walking into some type of collaboration. As I said, it could be a family member. It could be a loved one. It doesn't have to be like a lover. It could also be just a friend. Something that's a divine connection. Okay, this person that's putting in the work with you, but you are leaving something that you gave a lot to. You gave a lot emotionally, something that I feel hurts. And I feel like you're sort of on that, do I really have to start all over again? But the thing is though, with the nine of wands coming out, divine is telling you to keep going, have patience. Balance will come in. Someone's coming to help you. Someone sees that you're exhausted. Someone could see that you're not feeling well. Divine wants you to keep pushing on. Have patience. 
things are going to get a lot better, I feel, in the future. Um, there is someone here that you're trying to work on something with. But there could be a lot of slow movement with it, with the Temperance card. What is the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? The Sun, that Sun card, Leo energy, could be significant. Death. And the Seven of Wands. You're fighting for a new beginning. I feel like there's rebirth in your energy, Pisces. You've got the Ace of Pentacles coming out here, this new beginning. I want to see what the Seven of Wands is. What is the Seven of Wands? The Two of Wands. There is something you're fighting for, okay? I feel like there's this healing energy around you. Someone's coming in with this new opportunity. There's a new opportunity here that I feel could leave you at a crossroad. You've got death, Scorpio energy. I see you're working on something with somebody here. When these cards came out, it felt like there's this, it's a different energy. There could be someone choosing to come forwards with another opportunity, like you're moving forwards with clarity here, but then you've got this energy of another opportunity. There's a lot of opportunities, I feel, with also the Seven of Cups, there's these choices that you need to make on this new path, which is going to help steer you into this new direction as you move on this new path. Let's keep going, but I feel like there is, there's going to be a crossroads. Everyone wants to give to you. You're very attractive right now, I feel, Pisces. What's the Seven of Cups? But this could be something that's deceiving, this opportunity that's coming in here. There is already something you're working on. What is the Seven of Cups? The Six of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. The Devil. Mm, there is choices. As I said, there could be this new opportunity that's coming in towards you. Something that I feel you don't see things clearly with. It could be with someone from the past, okay? I feel like this is a soulmate also. Everybody has more than one soulmate in their life. Everyone is here to learn lessons off each other. To grow in this lifetime. But this person could be coming in with a gift... There could be like a gift or a message 
but I feel like there could be some deceiving energy in the message. I feel like there are a few people around you. I feel like there's something about making the right choice on what to give to. I feel like with all these things in your life, you could have been working on all these things for a long time. But there's something about contemplation on a decision. This person's coming forwards and I feel like this contemplation is going to leave you feeling stuck because of what happened in the past, okay? There's these thoughts of, of the betrayal. So I feel like this person could be coming towards you with some type of new idea, as I said, an opportunity. I don't feel like you see everything. There's like an illusion over this. But I feel like there's negative energy with that. There's like this betrayal energy, misfortune. What are you going to choose, Pisces? Just remember, everybody has free will. You make the decisions in your life. What is the Eight of Swords? But I feel this message or whatever this person does come in with you, come in towards you with is going to leave you sort of stumped on what to do next. But I feel like you know you don't know all the answers or all everything when this person comes in as to why you're thinking about them betraying you again. What's the Eight of Swords? the lovers so there's that choice Gemini energy could be significant the wheel whether this is going to be karmic a karmic cycle what's the eight of swords and the four of pentacles This person could have involved others. There's three swords here in the heart. They betrayed you, you got the three swords, they come out with the 10 of swords also. I feel like there's something about being imprisoned in your mind about this situation, about holding onto this, about choosing this, whether this is going to be karmic, You've got the wheel, Sagittarius energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. But the lovers is coming out. It's not the devil. Okay, there's some type of misfortune and hurt in the past. But there's a connection. There's something about obsession also. This is someone that I feel doesn't want to let go of you he is sitting on i think that's the great wall of china stopping others from coming in i feel like this is a divine connection this is two people that choose to be together this is two people that I feel there's there's no chain here, okay? This is two people that choose to be together. They're not chained together. These are two people that learn lessons from each other. So as I said, you make the decisions in your life, Pisces, whether you want this person in your life or not. But you are the one that's in your head about making the decision. You need to take the blindfold off. You are someone that's been protecting the border, not letting people in. But this is a new turn on the cycle. 
this is a new turn, you've closed out a cycle, there's something new starting. And then you've got the Ace of Wands here. So you may choose to have this person in your life, even though there is some type of misfortune. I feel like you don't see all the answers clearly as to why you're in your head. But you could choose to have this person in your life. You could choose this new opportunity that's coming in. What's the Ace of Wands? So there are, I feel, two energies around you. Two people that are coming into your energy, wanting to work with you. Um, one could be something that is platonic. One could be romantic. They may both want something romantic with you. Take what resonates, Pisces, but they're both coming in. They both want to draw from you, like draw energy from you, work with you. You have the Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands for Pisces? The Tower. What's the Ace of Wands? The Fool. What is the Ace of Wands? And Strength. The Five of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So, knocking down the tower, there's a new beginning, there's a new passionate beginning. So, there's some type of stability, okay? I feel like there was a tower knocked down in the past with this energy because this wasn't built on steady foundation. There's something new that I feel you have no control over. There's someone coming in that's having the strength to push on to this new beginning. Someone that's, I feel, this person's coming in with something solid. I feel like they didn't in the past. Okay, I feel like that's breaking away. There's a new cycle starting. You're giving to this tower being knocked down and something new to start. And this is going to be something solid. This is something that has been worked on. There are flowers, there's evolution. So I feel like there's this growth in this relationship, in this commitment. Leo energy could also be significant. But this is bringing in balance, I feel like. This is bringing in grounding. This is also bringing in intuition. So whatever this relationship is, it's going to be very solid. Um, it's also something that's very spiritual. But you just you may decide to take this new opportunity. What is the artist? And knock down the old to start the new. So for the artist, you've got the king of wands. What is the artist? The eight of wands. And the seven of cups. The page of wands on the back of the deck. You've got the artist. This person is someone that's creative, obviously, with the artist. 23, 2 plus 3 is 5. This is... This is, as I said, someone creative. Someone that's been holding back. This could be someone that you're working with. You've got the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's a message. This is someone that's, I feel, very attracted to you. As I said, Pisces, you're attracting a lot of people. I feel like this is this person you're working with. They're coming in. They're going to tell you something. 
which is going to leave you in the Seven of Cups energy again, right underneath the Seven of Cups. Options, making a decision. It could be something to do with your career. It doesn't have to be this person is attracted to you. They're very attracted to you. This person is desiring to come forward. This is someone that's daring, creative. Tell us more about this message. What is the message? What is the Eight of Wands from this King of Wands? Truth. They're going to tell you something. It's going to leave you in this energy of making a decision again. The Ten of Wands. This is something they've been holding back, something that's a burden in their life. They're coming in with the truth. So this truth is going to leave you in this making a choice energy again. Listening to your intuition and I feel like it's something that you're not expecting because you've got this tower moment happening again. What is the tower here? Something breaking away, the epiphany. What is the tower? Justice. This king of wands... <clears throat> This King of Wands is coming in and they're going to bring in everything you desire, that equal, that balance, the scales being balanced and the Nine of Swords. Listening to your intuition. You could be cutting off something in your life, okay? You may be in your head about breaking away. But as I said, there's someone coming in here. You know, they want to give you something solid, but there are there mis there's still mysteries around this energy. I don't feel like you see things clearly, but I feel like this other energy that you're working with, they're coming in with the truth. Okay, they're coming in with a balance. And I feel like it's going to cause a tower moment with this other person. Tell us more about the Nine of Swords. The Three of Cups. Yeah. This person could come in with a truth that's going to give you a bit more clarity on, I feel, a reconciliation that you've, you've decided to give to, but I feel like you're going to knock that down or this is going to cause a tower moment because there's someone in a mask here. Aries energy could also be significant. But I feel like there's people like fighting for your attention, fighting for your love. Um, the truth will come out and I feel the truth is going to guide you in the right direction. You may decide to have both these people in your life, but I feel like there will be a truth that's going to give you that option of a choice between these two energies. Um, and I feel like there's something about breaking away from one. So you could be deciding to let go of one to start this new cycle in your life. There's there's justice coming in the future and I feel like you know that you need to let go of something that's not truthful, that's not equal, that's not stable. What is the Queen of Pentacles?
the Three of Pentacles. The Alchemist. Too many. What is the Queen of Pentacles? And Judgment. So making a choice. You're making a choice, Pisces, okay? You've got judgment coming out, waking to the call. What are you going to give to? You've got the alchemist, Virgo energy. You have all the tools. There's someone... Something to do with planning or a calendar. There's some type of planning. There's planning... There's something that you're giving to that you're planning. Okay, there's a waking to the call. There's a giving to this. You have all the tools to start this new journey on something that you're collaborating with. Collaborating with somebody it could be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone that's a parent, a mother. This is someone that's nurturing. This is someone that wants to give to you, that wants to care for you. But there's something about getting started on this new plan, okay? Making the plan and moving forwards. What is the chariot? The queen of swords. The six of pentacles. And the Prince of Wands, so the Knight of Wands. So making a decision, okay, on what and who to give to. You could be deciding to give to both of these energies. To me, he's giving to both. You've got the chariot coming out, cancer energy. So giving to both these energies could be a lot of work, could be exhausting, but there's something about needing to hold these boundaries up, keep these firm boundaries up with the Queen of Swords. This could also be an X, but there's something about planning, emotionally moving forwards but having those boundaries up. Tell us more about the Prince of Wands. I want to know who the Prince is. The Strength card. Yeah, there's something about you needing to make a decision, Pisces, because I feel like you giving to both these energies is going to be exhausting. There's something about making a decision. Pisces. Choices coming in the future, okay? You've got two energies around you. Both are trying to impress you. You've got Blue, Leanne Rhymes. But whoever you choose, I feel like there needs to be an option. Uh, there needs to be a choice, sorry. There needs to be a choice, But I feel like things will become a lot clearer. Someone's coming in that's going to help you make the choice one way or another. And we'll grab one more. There's an energy here that's very upset that you are walking away. And I feel like it's the past. They will come back again. But whether you want that or not, Frozen, Madonna, 
So listen to those songs. They will have messages. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there's a playlist for Pisces. I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.